PHP offers a whole host of amazing and useful applications and libraries. So you have one of those legacy PHP apps, but wouldn't you want to benefit from the modern .NET platform? PHP.io empowers you to do just that, and best of all, it integrates seamlessly into Visual Studio Code, enabling you to be highly productive in the blazing fast lightweight editor for Microsoft. In this video, we'll have a look at how to compile a legacy PHP app to .NET Core, a modern and highly performant multi-platform framework. We'll also briefly touch on how to create NuGet packages from PHP apps so you can distribute them completely sourcelessly, and the option to generate a self-contained binary application, which then has all the interoperability options with the whole .NET ecosystem. Let's first take a look at some existing PHP project, or better yet, just a bunch of PHP files. In VS Code, we can simply open a folder and work with the code, but each .NET project needs a project file. We have various options how to create it, which framework to target, and whether to compile an executable or a class library. We can either use one of the PeachPy templates, as described on PeachPy.io, or take advantage of our official and free PeachPy extension for VS Code, which adds the create project command into the IDE. Not only does this create a project, but it also creates the corresponding launch.json and tasks.json files, and it even calls .NET restore for us. Here we have the generated project file. As you can see, it references an SDK called PeachPy.NET SDK, which is contained in the NuGet package and downloaded by .NET upon the first restore. This is great because it means that you actually don't have to download or install any PHP or compiler. .NET does everything for you based on this project file. Another thing that's unusual in the project file, PHP files. Instead of the classic c -sharp files, we will compile PHP files. And while we're at it, did you notice the extension color highlighted our MS Build Proj file as an XML? What you're probably already used to is the target framework, which specifies what we're compiling to and the output type, saying that we're creating an executable. All the other magic is hidden in the SDK above. The compiler itself, package references to the base class library, or BCL, and cross-targeting. Since I know that our PHP library contains some content, we'll add a line to the project file. msbuild will copy this to the target folder during the compilation. At the same time, it's also copied into a potential NuGet package. Most commonly, PHP sites and libraries come with JPEGs, CSS, or other media files. Since we're creating an executable project, we'll also add the star.object property so that the compiler knows what the entering script is. Also worth mentioning is that we can sign the compiled project with a strong key or generate a standard XML documentation from the contained php.doc comments. Now that we have a project, the extension will start the code analysis in the background and output what PeachPy has revealed. Every compiler conducts a code analysis, but in this case, it only serves the compilation and tells us useful information about our PHP application in the context of the .NET framework. The diagnostics mainly show us what the BCL doesn't know how to deal with yet, but it also reveals plenty of other information such as unreachable code or unused variables or other unclean constructs, which is quite common in a PHP code base since it lacks the strict analysis .NET provides. We can either ignore this information or use it to improve our app. Some diagnostics are erroneous and don't even let our project compile. For example, an erroneous value returned from toString. This would cause a runtime error and PeachPy doesn't let you compile such code. The extension doesn't provide editing features, as its main purpose is to prepare us for the transition to .NET. Since the compiler runs a type analysis that must respect all the quirks of the PHP language, you can for example hover over variables and validate that they have a correctly analyzed type. If not, you can edit the code to make the type clear to the compiler. Also, if the type is a combination of more types, 
it may affect the performance at runtime. The same applies to calling functions. If you don't see a tooltip, the compiler doesn't know what to call in that spot. You can also see what the compiler thinks about the given function and what return type it attributes to it. Mixed means that you can do it better, so I'll change that right away. The most significant step is to translate the project to .NET. Let's hit Control shift b to build. The project appears like any other .NET project, regardless if it's C-sharp, F-sharp, or Visual Basic. And so you can reference it, wrap it into a NuGet package, publish it, and thus generate a self-contained application that doesn't even require the .NET runtime. From this point on, all the rules apply as for any other .NET project. What's really cool is the debugging, since it works just like the debugging of a C-sharp project. In PHP, for instance, we don't have breakpoints accurate to columns, which is totally standard in .NET. This allows us to step through the code bracket by bracket, expression by expression, and to create conditional breakpoints and so on. All this is orchestrated by the .NET debugger and the .NET CLR. So what do we gain by all this? With PeachPy, we enable you to take your legacy PHP app and to port it to the modern, lightweight, and blazing fast.NET Core platform. With our extension, whose link you can find in the description below, you can easily create a project and compile it without the need to download or install anything, as .NET does everything for you. An important feature compared to regular PHP is the PeachPy code analysis, which won't let you run erroneous code in production, so you'll have to fix it before you can continue. Once your app is successfully compiled, you have access to all the goodies of the .NET platform. Debug, step through the code, put breakpoints wherever you like, create and publish a NuGet app, and generate a single file self-contained .NET Core application. Get started by running your PHP apps on .NET Core with PeachPy.